Hey guys, I actually already started out by applying my primer to my face and I used the Nivea Aftershave Balm for sensitive skin. And for my concealer, I'm using first my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just applying that to any area around my face that's a little bit red and I think needs a little bit more coverage. And then I'm just blending it out with my Beauty Blender. And recently I've been using my LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer over top of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't really like this concealer by itself, but I find that over top of the Pro Longwear Concealer, it doesn't really crease as much on me. So that's what I've been doing recently and I just use it to brighten up my face a little bit. And then for my foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation, which is new. This was the first time that I used it and I really like it so far and it definitely gives a little bit more of a I don't want to say dewy finish because it's not like dewy, but it's definitely luminous. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, which I actually think is really nice. And then to set my under eye concealer, I used my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Dimmed Light, I think. And this just gives like a really soft, luminous finish under my eyes. And then for the rest of my face, I used my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. For my eyebrows, I used the Annabelle Skinny Brow Pencil, and this is in the color Universal Taupe, I believe, and I just brushed it through with a little brush on the end and then just kind of filled them in pretty casually. I didn't do anything too crazy. This is pretty much just what I do. I just like to fill in any sparse areas and just give a little bit more definition to my brows, and then I just set them with my Clear Lash and Brow Gel from Essence. Moving on to the eyes, I primed my eyes first with the NYX HD eyeshadow base and just applied it to my lids and blended it out with the beauty blender. You can use your fingers for this, of course, but I just like to do this recently. And then I powdered it a little bit with my face powder to set it and also to make the eyeshadows that I'm gonna use a little bit easier to blend out. And I'll be using some eyeshadows from the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. And I'm just taking this lighter, soft, matte, purpley pink color and just putting that right into my crease and buffing it out to make it really soft and then I wanted to darken up the outer corner and my crease with the darker kind of matte purpley pink color and yeah I just put it to my outer corner and then buffed it into my crease a little bit For my brow bone highlight, I just decided to use the lightest matte color in the palette and just apply that right onto my brow bone and then also kind of blend it into the crease color as well just to make sure everything's super soft. And then for my lid color, I used this shimmery gold and this is kind of just a base because I'm actually gonna be using a like liquid pigment eyeshadow and this is the Coconut Water Eyeshadow from Josie Marin, which is actually like one of my favorite products ever. It lasts a really long time and it's so beautiful. I think this is called like rose gold or something like that actually so it's kind of perfect for this look and I just used my fingers to apply it so that it's a little bit more controlled and then I blended out the outer edges of the crease a little bit and on the bottom lash line I used the same color that I used in my crease first and just apply that directly to my bottom lash line and for the inner corner I also used the same color that I used on my brow bone. I applied my mascara off camera and I used the Hypnos Drama Mascara from Lancome and then afterwards I decided I wanted to darken up the outer corner of my bottom lash line a little bit so I used the same matte darker purpley pink color and then for my blush I'm using Exposed by Tarte and then just applied that like I would normally with any other blush straight to my cheeks and I decided I want to do highlight. I kind of don't ever like not do highlight anymore. It's kind of like a must do for my any makeup look so I use champagne pop of course from Becca and Jaclyn Hill and I just applied that to my cheekbones and then a little bit on the cupid's bow of my lip and then for my lip color I used ColourPop shimmy I think it's called and I just applied that to my lips and that is the whole finished makeup so I hope that you guys really liked it please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also leave your video request below and I will see you guys in my next video